Welcome to the basics of safe operation for Lowboy 2-in-1 mausoleum lifts. In this short presentation, you will learn what it means to be a trained, qualified operator of this unit. We will cover what a qualified operator needs to understand about the dangers, warnings, cautions, and responsibilities for accident prevention. After we have presented this information, we will have a short review of what has been presented. Each trainee will then have an opportunity to demonstrate what has been learned. In order to safely operate this lift, an operator must read and understand the manual or have this manual explained to them. Only qualified users may operate this lift. The American National Standards Institute, referred to as ANSI, describes a qualified operator as someone who has read and understands the dangers, warnings, cautions, and responsibilities that are explained in the manual. After an operator has shown that they do understand the hazards and responsibilities, they are qualified to operate this lift. The details about this training must be kept on file by the owner of this piece of equipment. In addition to the onboard safety manual, this lift is equipped with reminders in the form of decals. These decals contain descriptions of the dangers, warnings, and cautions that must be known and understood. A qualified, trained operator will be able to locate, read, and describe the hazard associated with each decal. There are simple steps to ensure safe operation. A qualified, trained operator will make sure that they will be operating the lift in safe surroundings. The operator will look down, all around, and up, surveying the area for potential hazards. The manual goes into great detail describing these types of hazards. In our demonstration case, we have determined that our floor is level and capable of supporting the lift and its expected load. We have looked around and removed any obstacles, and we have looked overhead to note low ceilings, light fixtures, and decorative objects such as wall mount bases. In outdoor settings, we would add wet, slippery, windy, or dark conditions to our survey of the site before we would attempt to operate the lift. This lift is unique in that it can be positioned with the end or the side against the crypt face. It is important to understand the safe clearances to the crypt face in each orientation. Position the lift and the outrigger foot as close to the crypt face as possible while still avoiding damage to that face. The safety manual describes these orientations and the proper clearances in more detail. Qualified operators need to understand the features of the lift that provide stability during lifting. This lift is equipped with four outriggers and a level indicator. Always fully extend and lower outriggers before lifting, even during the pre-start inspection and annual inspection process. The lift has four outriggers. Always use them to stabilize and level the unit to safely perform lifting operations. These outriggers provide a wider footprint on the ground to resist the loads placed on the platform during casket handling and maintenance operations. Use of the lift without the outriggers fully extended and lowered can result in serious injury or death. After fully extending the outriggers, lowering the feet, and leveling the lift, we may begin our pre-start inspection of the controls. The qualified operator checks that the upper control emergency stop, enable button, and up and down switch is working properly. The e-stop must disable all lift function, and the up-down switch must return to the center position. This function test is repeated for the tiller handle controls. Once these functions are checked, the lift can be fully elevated to visually inspect the lift. Once the lift is elevated, a visual condition inspection of components such as snap rings, hoses, and cables can be done. 
the manual emergency down valve can be tested. Once the above sequence has been followed, the qualified operator is ready to perform the job. Always use the personal protective equipment recommended by the manufacturer and the owner of the equipment. Part of understanding stability is knowing that the load you will be placing on the machine needs to be centered side to side and front to back. Always place the manufacturer's recommended railing set in place and ensure that it is locked into position. Review the safe surroundings section of this presentation and look down, all around, and up before elevating, looking once again for the hazards we reviewed. Proceed to lift once bystanders have been warned to stand clear. Always look in the direction that the lift is moving. Look up when moving up and down when moving down. Always depress the e-stop when you have reached the height at which you will be working to avoid unintended movement of the lift from the ground controls. Once work has been completed at height, repeat your safe surroundings checks before coming down. Remember to turn the lift off and remove the key if you must leave the lift for any reason. This prevents unauthorized use. We have described a qualified operator qualified operator has had safety training, has read and understands the safety manual, or has had that manual explained. The operator can locate, read, and understand the purpose of each danger, warning, and caution decal. The operator understands the accident prevention responsibilities associated with operating this lift. That operator has a working knowledge of safe surroundings, which is doing a site survey looking down, all around, and up for potential hazards. The operator understands clearances between the work and the machine. Understands stability, the importance of always extending and lowering the outriggers and leveling the machine prior to lifting. The operator understands how to test the control systems and the importance of operating a machine with fully functional controls. A pre-start inspection has been reviewed, the importance of inspecting prior to operating. And the operator knows how to safely load, lift, and lower the machine, making sure that the load is centered and being watchful during this operation. To validate what has been learned, the trainer should use the review checklist that is included with this manual. The trainer can choose to have the operator demonstrate learning by explaining each point on the checklist or giving the checklist to the operator as an open book test using the manual as the book. The operator needs to demonstrate a thorough knowledge of all of the stop, danger, warning, and caution decals. This initial training validation is kept on file by the owner. Annual recertification of qualified operators can be accomplished by following the same process. This basic safe operation presentation introduces the trainee to the function of the lift. For further information on safely maintaining, storing, and moving the lift between sites, consult the safety manual.